us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Holy Spirit may guide leaders in their work of protecting the sanctity of human life. Let us pray to the Lord. That those with problem pregnancies or difficult family situations may find strength and encouragement through God's gracious provision. Let us pray to the Lord. That the families in this faith community may be grounded in the love of Christ and strengthened by the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. That all of our beloved dead Believing in the saving power of God may be with Christ forever. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. For Richard Michael Mance, for whom this Mass is offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord. And for what or whom do we pray for today? We'll pray for the parish staff who gathers today. Thanksgiving for their dedicated work on our behalf. May God continue to bless and guide them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord and asking the intercession of Our Lady, we pray, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed, blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And we pray these things through Christ our Lord. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. Lord, look upon the one sacrifice of your Son, that by participating in this mystery, we may possess at last the gifts you have, we have awaited and for which our faith bids us hope. We pray through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Jesus Christ our Lord. All the oracles of the prophets foretold him. The Virgin Mother longed for him, longed for him with love beyond all telling. And John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exalted in his praise. And so with all the choirs of angels and saints, may our voices be one in grateful praise as we say, Holy, Holy, Holy. <clears throat> Lord, you are holy indeed, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In the similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. And humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Joseph, her husband, the apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. The Savior's command formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await a blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look then not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
Let us pray. Lord, grant divine protection to those you renew with this heavenly gift, that to those who delight in your mysteries, you may give the joy of true peace. We pray through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please join me in singing hymn number 137, O Salutaris, number 137. Oh. 